Hi everyone, today we will talk about dropout and early stopping. Dropout and early stopping are the techniques to overcome overfeeding. So let's briefly understand overfeeding first. Overfeeding is a situation when your machine learning model well trained on the trained data, but unfortunately, the model performs bad on the other data, such as test data or real data. The overfitting happens because your model was too much trained on the given data set. With a given example in this slide, if you sleep like this on the bed and design the bed like this only for you, you may like this bed, but not many people will buy this bed. The easy way to detect overfitting is you split your data into train data set and test data set randomly, then train with the only train data set. Since test data is unseen data to the trained machine learning model, if test accuracy is low while trained accuracy is high, we can say the model has been overfitted. Mathematically, overfitting is happening when variance is too high. And when variance is too low, but bias is too high, we call it underfeeding. Underfeeding normally happens when you don't have enough features in your data or you don't have enough data for training. Therefore, normally when your model underfitted, the train accuracy and the test accuracy both are low. When there are too many features, normally variances goes higher. Therefore, when your model is overfitted, we can come up with an idea to reduce features and that is the motivation of the dropout. So let's talk about dropout. I just said the motivation of dropout is to reduce features in order to reduce variances for overcoming overfitting. Here is multi-layer perceptron where you can find lots of nodes. Since the image is 5 by 5 images, we have 25 features in this input, and the 25 features goes through 15 nodes in the first hidden layer. So 15 features are going through 13 nodes in the second hidden layer. So now 13 additional features going to the next layer. As I explained, the more nodes, the more features, so the more variances. Therefore, Reducing the number of nodes during training can reduce the features of the network. Dropout is a technique that we randomly not using some nodes during training. Since we are reducing nodes, aka features, during training, variances goes lower, so it helps overcoming overfitting. Here you can find TensorFlow 2 code of dropout at the top left corner. The dropout function will be applied to the just previous layer. So in this code, first dropout will be applied to the first hidden layer, second dropout will be applied to the second hidden layer. Early stopping is also one of the most popular techniques for overcoming overfeeding. In order for early stopping, you will need to split validation dataset from train data. Validation dataset is different from test dataset. You only use test dataset once you have finished training and testing your model, while you use validation data during training. Since validation data is also unseen data during training, by checking accuracy against the validation dataset on every epoch, if train accuracy goes higher but the validation accuracy goes lower, you just stop training in order to avoid overfeeding. That is the early stopping. Here is the TensorFlow 2 code to implement early stopping. Two key points from this code are first is the patient parameter. Here I set it as 3, which means I want to early stop the train when the validation accuracy doesn't improve for three times in a row. Second is the validation split. Here in example, I set the validation split as 0.2, that means I want to use 20% of train data as my validation data. Now, let's practice with real code. You can always visit this link and practice yourself. If you go to this link, this will be shown 
and you can click on this button then you can practice from the collab uh, firstly I want to show you the dropout here and here and when you train with early stopping uh, I put the patient as 3 here with 20% of the train data will be the validation data set since patient is 3 here if you go under here then the 9733, 9744 so improved but if you see here 9742 doesn't improve 9740 doesn't improve 9734 doesn't improve you can see the validation accuracy has not improved for three times so we stop here at the epoch 72 while we set the epoch as 100 here so you can see the dropout and the early stopping in this collab code so I hope this video helps you to understand the dropout and the early stepping and I will see you on the next video.